my topic is bringing machine translation to the masses. So the way I'm planning to do that, if I can find out how to do it, is give you a little bit of context about how we think about the world at SDL, which is really the entire customer journey from building awareness on a marketing site through the whole life cycle up to the purchase and also the, the post-sale situation. And we worry about doing that through multiple channels like uh, YouTube and all these other technologies as well as multiple languages. So that's the, the context. And how do we do it? From a machine translation perspective, we have a platform, which is a SaaS platform um, that does the translation. It has an API. And then we have administration tools that sit above that that anyone in an enterprise should be able to manage. And that was a very key design goal in building this application, is to make it really easy to use. So now if we go back to that entire customer lifecycle, what we've done over time is build a set of integrations to deal with all these different modes of interaction with customers. So whether it's a website translation, ability to deal with documents, live chat, blogs, and so on. And the same thing at the tail end when we're dealing with uh, customer support. Of course, uh, SDL is well known for a number of tools that are used for post-editing, and so we have integrations into those for localization departments to be able to leverage machine translation. And we also have a set of tools to allow anyone in an enterprise to co collaborate, for example, um, through intranets, office documents, and so on. Now, traditionally, we've provided generic engines as well as vertically trained engines and we have done a lot of custom training for customers. But where we're going is we've just brought out a beta version of a tool which is also very easy to use and is designed to allow anyone in a, any linguist in an enterprise to be able to train their own engines. And I'm just going to finish by showing a couple of screenshots. So it's really as simple as selecting a source and a target language, updating some translation memories, and then let, letting the system run. And after it runs, it will tell you through an automated process whether it thinks you have a better engine than the baseline that it was based on. So the, ge the generic engine that was used as an input as well. We have other tools to help you evaluate, to have humans evaluate the results. But this is the general set of features and how we're trying to make all of these tools accessible to anyone in the enterprise.